Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah with another exciting episode of Yokai Watch for the Nintendo 3DS. We're continuing on with our post game, so shout out to you guys for supporting the series this far. On this episode, we're gonna go through and find Chirpster. Now he is actually the last hidden technical boss within the game. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get him, and uh, we're gonna beat him, it's gonna be very cool. Now this boss is not an event yokai like the previous couple's episodes were, and uh, nor can you befriend him. He's a legit boss that you have to beat. So, uh, before we do that, um, if you guys are excited, smash that like button, and since you guys smashed that like button, I'm gonna show you a couple friends that I got. A couple friends. Damona, I got right over here from the pink Krankakai coin. She is awesome. I leveled her up all the way to 60. Uh, she's got the curse skin ability. All stats increase when you're inspirited, which is awesome. Uh, Smackdown, Blizzard, Shiny Chaos, Curse of Darkness. So, really cool stuff. So, Ice Elemental. She's great. She's kind of like Blizzaria, but um, better. And last but not least, from the purple coins, I want to say, um, I got Eterna. Now, Eterna over here is uh, pretty awesome. Good stat distribution. Serious and Brainy, Oldness Zone. No Yokai will be able to dodge. A very good ability. And uh, you got the Beat Attack. You've got Reaper. Undying Drain steals HP from foes with their staff and gives it to her allies. That's awesome. And then Immortal Power regenerates an ally's HP with the power of immortality. So there we go. Very cool. Now, that means that we have every single one of the... Krankakai Legendary Yokai. Stay tuned for a future episode where I'll show you what happens when you look in the medallion. It's gonna be good. I haven't opened it yet, but anyway. So let's get on with this quest. We want to find Chirpster. Uh, so there is actually a sub-quest inside the old mansion. After you, I, I think you can access it. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna say that once you get the S rank, then you can go through and access it. So right over this way is where we want to go. Jump down. And lo and behold, there's a Hungorge. Or Hun George. I heard about you from Copper Lead. He said maybe you can help me out. I'm really in trouble here. Okay, what do you want? Thank you. I accidentally ate all the fish I was supposed to cook up for the party. It looked so good I couldn't resist. Copper Lead was furious because I ate all the yokai leader's food. I'm at a loss for words. Hungorge is gorging. Seems to be quite a problem. Ah, I feel so bad. If you could help me out, that would be so grateful. Can you catch seven red snappers for the party? I guess I can't be helped. Let's take seven red snappers back to Hungorge. All right, so luckily for you, I caught seven red snappers. You can find them all over the place. Okay, that is it. Thank you so much. It looks so delicious. Mmm. Absolutely not. Don't even think about eating those. <laughs> I don't know if this is a smart move, but let's give them what we caught. Sure. Here you go, but don't eat these. Okay, so we gave him our seven red snappers. Ah, now I can cook that meal. Yes, but you can't eat it up, okay? I know, I know. We worked hard for those fish, so have fun cooking. Just cooking. Oh, these look so good. Maybe I can just take a little teensy... No! All right, so we got it. So apparently there's a yokai party and Hungor is cooking. I wouldn't trust that guy with my life. He'll just eat everything. He'll eat all the ingredients. Okay, excellent work. We're maxed out on rubies. We don't need to take those. All right, Mad Mountain, we landed right on him. Boo! I don't think that's a good ending. I heard that you can soft reset these things and get jackpots. Uh, anyway, so we're going to move on out. Okay, so that was the first part of the quest. What we're going to need to do is go back inside. The front door it is right over here. Alright, let's see what's happening now. We don't need those items. And here we go. Tangloom. Got him. Alright, glad you're here. I want to ask you something. Do you have a moment to help out? Of course I do. You know about the party, right? Yeah, we've actually done a few things to help out with it already. Is there something else we can do? Yeah, you'll help? Sure, I'll help you. I'm sorry to have to ask. I actually need some help setting up the party. A few more hands. Some folks are a little hard to get a hold of, though. I was hoping you could find them and maybe bring them here. Who are you looking for? Kroonger and Apak. Oh, and Blandon too. Oh, they have, do they have usual spots that they frequent? Kroonger should be somewhere in the underground waterway. I think he hangs out by the entrance near Uptown Springdale's riverbank. Apak is carefree, so he's pretty hard to get a hold of. I heard he's been hanging out at Mount Wildwood a lot lately. 
And where would Blandin be? I think he's probably here in this mansion somewhere. He loves hiding though, so it's always hard to find him. What a pain! Okay then. So we just need to gather up all those yokai, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, but not. Thanks. It seems it might be a, a bit of work to find them all, but let's do it. Okay, so we're starting the yokai party right now. Alright, so let's do this. The very first yokai of ours is right this way. Blandin, I know exactly where you're hiding, dude. You can't hide from me. I see right through you. There you are, hiding in the bushes. Huh! You found me! Wow, you're no ordinary human. I can't believe we found you. Please go see Tenglin. The shame. I despise being seen by others. I was planning to stay hidden until the party actually started. Wow, you really are a pain. Just please go see Tengloom. Okay. Alright, so we got him to see Tengloom. That's easy. Uh, we'll take a little shortcut through here. Alright, so what did he say? Mount Wildwood? Alright, we can easily teleport over there. Alright, we know Mount Wildwood like the back of our hand. We grind those Krankakai coins so often, it's not even funny. Alright, so here we go. Oh, it looks like uh, there is a blue little uh, flag right over here. Let's ride our bike since we can. Oh, if it isn't Appak. Uh, Appak, Tenglu wants to see me. Oh, right, it must be about the party. Tell him I'll be over at the mansion. Okay, was that easy or what? He didn't have to put up a fight or anything. Alright, so the last one, they said it was in Uptown Springdale. Now, the only place that I know how to get to... Um, well, I guess the, the place that's really easy to get to the underground area, where we where we found Aw... Aw Evil? Aw Evil? I think that was his name? <laughs> Aw Evil, yeah, Aw Evil. Uh, we found the ways under the underground in the waterways, so this is the best way that I know to get to the underground from a warp point that I recognize at least and has a central location. So here we go. Easy, freely exploring the city, looking good. Okay, we're gonna go down and we already see him right on the bo bottom there, Kroonger. All right, we don't necessarily need to use any stamina alphas. Just watch out for this little dude. We don't need a um, lead balloon. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, the party, that's right, I forgot. I promised to help out. I complete, it completely slipped my mind. Singing here just felt so good. Could you please tell Tengloom I'll be there soon? All right, well, that should do it. I think we're able to talk to everyone. Let's go report back to Tengloom. All right, lead balloon, we're out of here. Okay, looking good. Let's run on back. Uh, we'll have to go back to our house and warp all the way over to the old mansion. And luckily for us, the old mansion actually has a Mirapo. That makes things so much easier. I remember playing the game at the beginning, and I'm like, I hate riding around on my bike. Please tell me there's an ability to fly somewhere. <laughs> and then like halfway through the game, you get Mirapo, and you're like, yay. All right, so make sure that you guys have the rank S yokai watch for this. I'm not sure if you can actually do it beforehand, but that's where I'm at, so if you guys are playing along with me, you'll know what to do. Okay, so here we are, going back to Mirapo, and we're gonna go to the old mansion. Main house, here we go. And we're gonna go talk to Tengloom. So, we found the red snappers for them, we found all the people, now what? You! You spoke to everyone? I sure did. They all said they'll be here soon. Look at Komajiro on the back. You see him? It certainly wasn't easy tracking everyone down. I appreciate it. I'll repay this debt to you someday. Oh, don't worry. It's our pleasure. We should be getting all the party under the way. Uh, pay us a visit if you'd like. Uh, the yokai leader will be here, so it'll be a great opportunity to meet him. Great. We'll be back. A yokai party? That sounds exciting. All right, so let's get this party started. The party doesn't start till I walk in. Alright, okay, so we got that. I wonder if we get anything good. Oh, a Tattered Gauntlet. That's right, a Tattered Gauntlet and v Aura can get fused together to make a v Gauntlet or something like that. Alright, wow, boo. We got two boos in a row. Alright, so all we have to do is exit out of here and then let's, uh, let's join the party. It's party time! Yes, here they are. And lo and behold, look at this guy. This is the boss. This is legitimately the hidden boss. Oh, welcome. Glad you've come. Copperled told me all about you guys. Whoa, you're a large. 
Indeed, you are looming quite large over these proceedings here. I understand we have you to thank for this little banquet. Allow me to say a humble thank you from all of us. Oh, I hardly did anything. I'm sure it's not true. Regardless, please enjoy yourselves. Okay, thanks. Thanks again for your help. It's been so long since we've had a banquet. Everyone's in high spirits. You should stay and join us. Mm, okay, trust the yokai. Why? Yokai is why. Wonderful. Feel free to get to know the guests. We had, we just had a little talent show. Everyone loved it. Okay, so now we've got a new banquet. Okay, so it looks like we got to talk to everyone. Did you hear what I did for our little talent show? To celebrate this moment, this most splendid day, I performed a haiku. It did quite well, if I say so myself. Would you like to hear it? No, that's okay. I see. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> okay. What was my talent? Singing, of course. It was quite a performance. You should be sorry you missed it. Um, la la la, la la. la. <coughs> my voice is shot. Uh, how much did he sing? Oh, here is uh, Blandin. What did you do? Disappear? My talent? I display my prowess with the blade. I don't think anyone saw me though. Next time I'll do it when I'm visible. Uh, didn't that occur to you before you started performing? Ah, uh, did I tell you what my talent was? Let me guess, you ate everything. <laughs> I attempted to eat a hundred hard-boiled eggs. I also succeeded in eating those hundred hard-boiled eggs. Ha! Oh my gut. Do you have any food? Maybe that would settle my stomach. Sorry, I don't have anything today. Oh, I see. That's too bad. <laughs> I'm like, with I've got like a hundred marbled beefs like spewing out of my pocket. I'm pretty sure hunger apps would, or hungorge would smell that. My talent? I showed off some cat's cradle tricks. You don't sound too excited about your talent. Uh, was anyone else excited? I'm sorry, but I don't understand what you're asking. Yeah, you can show me later if you want. Really? Great. Cat's cradle tricks? What is that? What was my talent? Well, I don't know if I call it a talent so much. I just talked about all the places I've visited over the years. You know, the things I've seen and heard traveling around. Oh, cool. I'd like to hear some of those stories. Well, we've talked to everyone. Maybe we should try talking to the host a little more. Can I save? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna save. Alright, we're gonna save really quick. Alright, Eterna and Demona get their very first screen time on this episode. So here we go. Oh, I think we're gonna fight him. Alright, uh, I can sense that you're wondering why I wasn't in the talent show. Hmm. I know you haven't said so, but I can tell something in your eyes. Uh, you will you believe it's unfair of me to expect everyone else to perform, eh? Impudent Brett, how dare you insult our benevolent host? Whoa, whoa, he, we didn't even say anything, honestly. Actually, I have no idea what he's talking about. Well, 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 you're quite the brave little Brett as well, I see. I like that, it shows Verve and Moxie. You've inspired me, I will show you my talent. Come, Brett, fight me. Okay, I didn't even say anything, and now he's fighting me. Chirpster, the last of the hidden bosses. Oh, man. Are we ready or what? Um, let's actually do a little bit of... Yeah, I gotta knock out these two things on the side, right? And we'll go with a little bit of a speed boost. Okay, same strategy I always use is Golden Yon right at the beginning, give everyone all stats up. And then we're gonna target the little treasure chest looking things. Or the little, little picnic baskets. I don't even know what the heck those things are. Okay, here we go. We're gonna use Demona's ultimate right off the bat, just to show you what it does. Shiny Chaos. Boom, look at that. Enemy sets way down, and we can get our Sultimates back. Nice, because it inspirits them. What? What is happening? He's like telling me to choose one of the other boxes? Whoa, okay. Uh, well, one of them exploded on me. What the heck was that? All right, here we go. All right, we're going to definitely knock out this box. So I guess you pick and choose which one and then it explodes on you if you pick the wrong one and heals him if you pick, I don't know, if you pick the wrong one. All right, let's see Eterna, man. I wanna see her ultimate. 
It's just gonna heal. It's gonna take HP away. Undying Drain. Boom. And hook us up with a little bit of HP. And that's not that much. Alright, we're gonna go with another Speed Talisman. We're gonna throw that right over here. Alright, looking good. Okay, so Chirpster, we're right back at it. Let's go. Look at that. Blizzard doing some work. Alright, we're gonna throw a Speed Talisman over here on Cruncha. Gusty wins. Okay, that didn't do that much. Yo, this guy's nothing compared to the previous bosses we were fighting. Of course we can't inspire him. Oh, whoa, 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 hold the phone, give me that. Ooh, massive experience points, we like that. Let's go, Benito Blade. Just cuz. So he's a wind elemental boss, that's pretty cool. And that was really cool that we were in, we were able to inspirit the little treasure chest. That was really awesome. All right, let's do this team. I want to see Eterna do like some sort of damage. Oh, smacking Cruncha across the face. All right, inspiriting, good. That's like um, steadily restoring HP. That's not bad. Rocket Punch! Yeah, okay. Oh no! Just one more hit. Back row or front row? Yeah, we can't do anything. Dang it! I stalled a little too long. Now we've got to actually play the game. Oh! That exploded on us. Alright, so we're gonna actually knock this thing out. We're gonna go with the Speed Talisman as usual. It's really good. A Speed Talisman and a Strength Talisman, those are really awesome. He's got literally one HP left. Alright, there we go. Fast forward some more. Come on. Knock this little picnic basket out. What are you guys doing? There we go. Oh! Boom! Nice! Okay! Just did that one, two, three and knocked him the heck out of here. Awesome! Good work. Alright, here we go. 10,500. That's a lot of experience for beating that guy. And we get a golden doll. How nice is that? Uh, everyone's silent. How awkward. Oh, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Not at all. This is great to think that you could defeat me. You really are quite a splendid example of humanity. I wasn't sure how this was going to shake out, but he doesn't seem mad. Copper lead. Yes? Your plan went off without a hitch. Thank you for your kind words. My hard work has finally paid off. What? What did he actually do? Let's not worry about it too much. The banquet has just begun. We're going to party tonight. Woohoo! Okay. All right. Good. Finding hidden bosses and destroying them. Ooh, nice! Another Galaxy Charm! That item is awesome. It's like the best defensive equipable item that you can get. So it's good to have another one. It's minus spirit and plus defense. So if you have a physical attacker, or even if you just want one to just put it on. Sacrifice a little uh, spirit. Anyway, here we go. What, is he, what does he say now? That was splendid, Brett. Ah, this, this is why I love banquets. Okay, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've officially beaten uh, the awesome bosses. Let me take a look. Um, 
Yeah, here we go. This is the one that we were missing. If you hear music coming from an old abandoned mansion, this yokai is likely partying there. If you stumble in, you may be dancing until dawn. So we have a couple more bosses that we need to fight, and you guys know who they are. Gargaros, we are coming for you on the next episode. It's going to be intense, so don't miss it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Gargaros, hopefully his the blue Oni, and then like the black Oni or something like that. We're going to fight all of them. Of course you can't befriend them, but it's going to be tough on the next three episodes. We're going to go through them. We got a hit right on his head. So anyway, that was uh, how you find Chirpster within Yokai Watch. Hopefully that helped you out and you guys are playing on your own and uh, finding him. So, Medallium, we're good. So, thanks for watching. By all means, if you enjoyed the episode, smash that like button, share the video with a friend, and of course, subscribe for even more Yokai Watch. We've got a couple episodes ahead of us, and then, of course, we might go into some rare yokai hunting live streams. Would you guys like to see that? Let me know in the comments if you would, because there's a lot of luck-based uh, generating yokai, such as Rabanyan, Azure Dragon. Uh, there's a lot of them that I have to get, and it's kind of boring doing it off-screen. I'd like to do it in front of a live audience, which is you guys. So, let me know if that's something that you'd like to see in the future. Uh, of course, shout-outs to all the Patreon supporters. I would love it if you guys would consider becoming a Patreon. All the links are in the description for that. Or head on over to pat patreon.com slash abdallahsmash026. We're giving away lots of awesome incentives, and you guys get to see your name scrolling through the credits. It's great. So, we'll see you guys on the next episode of Yokai Watch. I'm hungry for blood. Gargaros blood. It's gonna be awesome. Be there.